It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Good evening, sports fans. This is 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny Smith. Our game tonight featuring the New Orleans Pelicans as they go up against the Heat in Miami. For the Heat, they're sixth in the Eastern Conference and still trying to make that next step forward, trying to finish in better shape than they did last season. And we get to see the brow in action tonight. Scary that it's still so early in his career. Kenny, just how good can Anthony Davis get? Well, he's Look dominant. at that brow you got right there. Oh, wow. I, I, have a, I have a double brow. Man, that thing has a, a duo taken bro. on a life of its own. Brow. I have a Look duo brow. Yeah, yeah. It, it does. weighs about 14 pounds. It's thick, it? though. It's wow. thick, but it's a duo. Anyway, AD. Okay. Well, anyway, he's dominant in almost every aspect of the game. A big guy who can handle the ball, he can run the floor, he can shoot jump shots, he can defend, and he's a force anywhere you put him. I want to see how smart you guys are. Okay. If he was a reptile, which reptile would he be? Oh, a raptor. Ernie? If he were a reptile? What would he be? He'd be, um... Taking too long, Ernie. He'd yeah. be a versatilian. Ooh, ooh. Team should be nervous of what he can do in three years. You like that? Versatilian. That is. I'm I'm surprised that you've waited this long to break that one out. A yeah. Versatilian. Doctor O'Neill, baby. Yeah. Amphibious. Okay. Kevin Harlan, it's all yours. We're live, the home of the Miami Heat, American Airlines Arena in downtown Miami, Florida. Hi, everyone. We're happy to have you with us for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. And for the Heat, we've got another hometown game here in Miami. They come into this one very confident. They feel like this is a game they should win against a team that struggled. We'll see if they can take care of business. And right now for Miami, they've already shown they're going to be a dangerous team this season. It's just a matter of whether or not they can take that next big step. Yeah, still wonder about them. It hasn't happened quite yet. Just slightly behind the conference leaders. They're poised to make a push for that top spot in the standings once we get into the heart of the season. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Well, Kevin, we know today's players can really elevate, but it's the landings that create tremendous strain on the body. In fact, at least one team bans its veteran players from dunking in practice. Kevin, that is not a problem for me. David, you're right. It takes a toll. Thank you. The season now starting to take shape, Brent. We have a better idea of who the real championship contenders might be. There seem to be a lot of familiar faces, Kevin. I agree. Uh, yeah, always. But always, that's okay. I like that. Yeah, I, I do too. Because in the beginning of the year, we have to do those radio shows and make predictions. <laughs> Some of our predictions are coming true. Yes. Thank goodness. I know. We look smart, don't we? Or I you, don't know about you that. Know, you know you look smart. I don't. You look <laughs> smart. <laughs> Tip-off goes to New Orleans. Now, the opening lineup for the New Orleans Pelicans. Down low, it's Randall and Davis. Peyton and Holiday are together in the backcourt. And it's Johnson in at the three, the small four. Now, here's Dragic. Following the miss by Anthony Davis. Dragic kicks to Winslow. And it's Adebayo in the corner. Rebound by Drew Holiday. To the middle. Johnson outside. From deep. And it's hauled in by the Heat. And going against New Orleans, their first meeting of the year. Interconference showdown. You love to see clubs that don't play each other often go head to head. Well, they'll meet twice this season tonight, the first matchup, so hard to know exactly what to expect. Showing some initiative there. Yeah, he takes advantage of what the defense is providing him, and that's the first bucket of the game. Pass to Winslow. Rogic kicks to Adebayo. Richardson against Holiday. Richardson finds Whiteside, and they pick up two. Seems to be some good composure here from Whiteside in this game. 
not being overly reactive and staying in control. At the elbow, Randall. Right side, Holiday. Good on the triple. Holiday's got his second bucket of the night. The Heat have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Peyton against Dragic. To the middle. It's stolen by Davis. Peyton against Dragic. Shoots from the baseline. Peyton can't get it to go. And it's Miami's ball. It's a three-point game. Holiday against Richardson. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That is his first foul of the game. Whiteside, the pass to Autobahn. Back to Whiteside. Makes it off the glass. Quick elevation for a five. Makes him deadly on the interior was Whiteside. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Peyton kicks to Davis. And the officials call a traveling violation. And a moment now to look at the stats for Dragic. This past month, he's really set himself apart. He's averaging 19 points per game, six assists, and two rebounds. And just look at those scoring totals. He's been doing what he does best, putting points on the board. His instincts naturally are to score the basketball. That ability to find the creases in the defense is something you just don't teach, and it's awesome. Now, here's Richardson. Nine points, last game out. Whiteside, good. Well, Whiteside beats everybody to the ball, but then maybe the wingspan helps out. Seven foot seven, reach over the top, snatch that. Here's Peyton. Kicks it out to Johnson. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Justice Winslow. The well, Pelicans a much better team last year than they've been in the past. Still have some areas to address before maybe they become a, a home court advantage team or a top four seed. But the number one thing is they've got to get some more consistency in their outside game. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Well, the three is king right now, and spacing can be a problem for the Pelicans. Well, the team knows they only have a handful of dead-eye shooters. They were in the bottom third for threes taken last year. They play to their strengths, which is a good thing, but in order for them to take the next step, it's got to be some dynamic play from the perimeter. And both free throws, good for Johnson. And here's Dragic. He'll bring it up for Miami. They trail by one. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Yeah, some guys have a hard time finding their teammates in those possessions. Dragic is always looking the dish to get it to the open man. And a tremendous unleash chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour, Hover Havoc. Great work by the team there to find A.D. They make eye contact, and the rest of that is history. Richards in the pass to Autobio. Rogic kicks to Autobio. Ball's knocked loose. Rocket six. 16 feet away. Richardson, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that moment. Now here's Peyton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. That's to Winslow. Oh, right side in position. An emphatic LU jam. As soon as that pass was released, Whiteside's eyes lit up, and he finishes that off with some stop. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. You see Justice Winslow 
get into that low defensive stance. Signals kind of like he did at Duke, slap the floor and be ready for a defensive possession. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at Boston. They like where they stand right now, perched in that topmost position. And, of course, there's the Heat. They're five spots away. And right now for Miami, they've fulfilled a lot of the promise they showed coming into the season. But they just haven't taken that next leap forward. So many thought they might. They still had enough players take positive steps forward to call this season a success. Maybe they're not at the top of the standings where they'd hoped they'd be, but they're in really good position in terms of the playoff picture. And Winslow, about 6'7", 225, but Brent, it seems like he plays a lot bigger. Yeah, it does feel like that sometimes. He gets lots of minutes at the power forward position and tries to rebound like a four. And when he gets it, he can rip it down and run it up the court. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable. First free throw is good. That one is no good. If there's been a shortcoming for the heat, Brent, it's at the offensive end. Uh, the shooting percentages aren't bad, but it, it just feels like with their mismatch of talent, who is it that's going to step to the forefront and be the guy they rely on for consistent scoring? One, one thing you look at, too, Kevin, they really don't get to the line all that much, and second chance points kind of hold them back. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Davis against Whiteside. Here's Holiday. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. And now we go to the 2K leaderboard. What a season it's been for these teams on the offensive glass. Number one, the Heat. The Pelicans fourth. You know, both of these teams really look to hammer the offensive glass on a nightly basis. So some commonalities between them. This should be a physical battle tonight. Now, here's Dragic. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Down low and taken away by Johnson. To the inside. That's tipped. Randall dishes to Davis. Goes back up. Just excellent recognition by Anthony Davis to sell the shot fake. Gets the defense up in the air. And Anthony Davis, a great defender by most measurements, but you know, Brent, some feel his defensive development has plateaued the last few years. He still gets a lot of blocks over two a game for, for his entire career thus far, and he, he doesn't have the same impact that he once did, but, you know, guys are shooting a lot more three-point shots, Kevin, so if you could find a way for A.D. to get from the, the lane out to a Steph Curry 28-footer, Alvin Gentry's listening. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And we've all heard the rumors that have been floating around the last few seasons. A lot of speculation if Davis could get traded or, or Greg leave in free agency. I mean, Davis moving would be one of the rare situations where it literally could shake up the entire league. You hear a lot of different teams express their interest in him. But credit to Davis. He really has remained committed to New Orleans and has said everything you'd want to hear from a fan's perspective. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. I'll tell you what, they're really fortunate there. Those long bomb passes usually spell disaster, but they get away with one there. Kelly Olenek's checked in for the Heat. And New Orleans also making a change. Morris checked in for Alfred Payton. Now here is Holiday. He's coming off a 28-point game against Washington. It felt like in that game, too, he was a man on a mission defensively, finishing up with four steals is an impressive feat 
and you can tell takes pride in that part of the game. Hard to believe, isn't it, that a few years ago the direction for this Pelicans team was uncertain. Yeah, and I like the fact that Alvin Gentry has found his way to put his imprint on this team. A lot of people not sure of, of how and if he could do that. He certainly has. It took some time to get those ideas in place. And the offense was never a problem with this group, especially with the way that Drew Holiday had such a huge year. It's going to be about some defense and some depth for them to push it a little bit further this season. And he makes the first. Number one pick overall in the draft coming out of Kentucky. And, and it just feels like Anthony Davis has had one focus on his mind, and that is to become the best player he can be. Love to see his evolution. James Johnson's checked in for the Heat. Rodney Magruder comes in for Goran Dragic. And so he makes both from the line. The WNBA, the top teams, make the playoffs. We know that regardless of what conference. And the early results look good, Brent. Do you ever see that happening in the NBA? I, I like the chatter about it. I like the consideration about it. I love the idea of the top 16 teams making the playoffs. But then I think to myself, well, if 12 of those 16 teams are in the Western Conference, then a lot of people are going to be watching something else come playoff time. So travel just it just makes a prohibitive. Not, not just the travel, Kevin, but the idea that you have these shifts. As we know, the Western Conference has dominated the NBA for at least the last decade. That there just wouldn't be much attention for the playoffs, at least throughout the country, if you did it that way. Now here's Winslow, following the miss by Julius Randle. Shot clock at six. Wade from outside. Randle grabs the board. Well, he definitely forced that shot, guys. He had plenty of time to adjust himself and kick the ball out and look for a better shot. Have to give credit to the defense there, too. Wade with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. Johnson finds Olenek. For the three. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Pelicans trail by four. From beyond the arc, the shot by Johnson, no good. The Heat have gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. It's stolen by Randall and the foul on Dwayne Wade. That is his first foul of the game. Waiters, he's checked in for the Heat. The Pelicans also changing it up. Okafor is checked in for Randall. Miller comes in for Johnson. And Ian Clark subbed in for Drew Holiday. Moore outside. From down in the low post, it goes. Nice job getting it done in the paint. Moore playing a little bit fearless there and showing some good energy on the attack. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And a chance here to look at the numbers for Wade. He's putting up about 14 points tonight, four assists, and three rebounds. And he can play some valuable minutes on the wing for this team. I just want to kick back and lounge here because when this guy's hot, it's a love story. And when he's cold, it's a nightmare. So sit back, get your popcorn. Let's see what he does. Here's Clark. It's tipped. Outside for Davis. Moore passes to Okafor. A second chance effort. Well, if you can use that athleticism on offense, why not try it on defense? James Johnson putting his 7-1 wingspan to great use. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Yeah, guys, they, they were forcing it a bit in that one and, and shot a relatively low percentage because of it. Well, if I put it on the scale, Greg, the aggressiveness was an 8. The shot selection, a 2. Could have been a lot better. A moment here to look at some numbers for Davis. Fourth and three-point field goal percentage. Fifth and blocks and ranked among the top ten in scoring. He can fill it up with the best of them. And yeah, he's one of the dead-eye sharpshooters in the game for sure. A top five percentage guy from deep. Just a hard man to slow down. Wade kicks to Olenek. And here's Wade. He just could not put it together in that loss to Atlanta. Good on the three-point shot. And that's just a really good-looking three-point shot from D. Wade. You have to crowd him as he's rising up for that one.
New Orleans shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And, and on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. And he can't get the first one. Well, this, this Heat organization has had such a great run of success under their owner, Mickey Arison, and what Pat Riley has done to uh, pour the foundation of the culture around Miami. This is not a team that likes to throw away any chance to compete or any season for that matter. Now, here's Wade. Five points in the game. The pass to Magruder. Back to Wade. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots the three. And it's Magruder missing. And memories of the big three era of Bosch and Wade and LeBron James still fresh, Brent, in the memory of the Heat organization. Well, more fresh in the memory of the, the fans of the Miami Heat. The organization trying to do their best to, to move forward and move on. Of course, that team, four straight finals appearances, won two NBA championships. They want to get back to that level. They know they've got to find some talent and some diamonds in the rough and trying to figure out a path to get there. Here's Wade. The Pelicans make their last shot. Tries from the block and off the left side of the rim and it swirls in for him. Magruder's got his first basket. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Clark finds Okafer and it's Miller in the corner. Tipped away. Olenek with the steal. Inside. Here's Magruder. Out of bounds. New Orleans will take possession. Here's Clark. 121 left in the first. Miller kicks to Diallo. And that one is off. And the Heat going the other way now. Here's Magruder. Nine points last game. And the call will be against Darius Miller. That is his first foul of the game. left here in the first quarter. Johnson kicks to Magruder. He just can't find the bottom of the net right now. He's looking frustrated. This quarter has been a bit of a nightmare for him. Stolen by Waiters. Over Miller. Miami no good on that time either. Stolen by Waiters. Feeds to Johnson. Wade left side. Johnson at the elbow. That's good from Wade on the assist by Johnson. And it's seven points for Dwayne Wade. That's just better offense from Dwayne Wade trumping the defense. And there's the foul. It's on Rodney Magruder. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus and we'll go to the line to shoot two. For New Orleans, they have been coming through at the charity street. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And the first one drops. And so he hits both. There's 25 seconds left to play in the first quarter. to Wade back to Magruder six on the shot clock that shot off it's been all about Hassan Whiteside for the Miami Heat between his points and his rebounds he was a star for him in that quarter 
We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Dwayne Wade talked about the potential of this team as well as the challenges they face this season. If we understand our potential, can develop to be a great team in, in this season. Um, but that's the hardest part, is understanding your potential when you have guys who's never been through it, you know, as a collective group. So uh, that's the biggest challenge, is to understand, okay, we're good, guys. We can win some games, but can we get to the next level of being great? That's the veteran mindset a player like Wade brings to the group. Exactly. I mean, he's fully aware of the importance of experience, a, a true leader for his team. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Miami, guys. I mean, they're winning the turnover battle, and, and oftentimes that can swing things your way. Well, they're taking care of the ball. They're attacking on defense. And this has them out to a big lead after one. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the floor for Miami, they've got Dwayne Wade. Deion Waiters is out there with James Johnson. Then it's Josh Richardson, and it's Olenek in at the center position. That's good from Johnson. Josh Richardson, the 40th overall pick, Brent, back in 2015, a hardworking young player who's had a lot of good veteran mentors in this Miami Heat locker room. Yeah, and he took advantage not only of what Dwayne Wade said to him, but the time that Dwayne Wade wasn't playing, he stepped in and seized an opportunity to get those minutes. He's had some scorching hot shooting numbers, too. His rookie year was phenomenal. And it came in and drew attention from guys from the three-point line, so looking to be consistent on that end. And there it is for him. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Pelicans trail by five. Clark kicks to Moore. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. He feeds it to Okafor. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. That went on Olenek. A lot of people feel like Moore has natural point guard ability, so I like to see him find the open man. The Pelicans have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. The Heat making a switch here. Whiteside's checked in. Wade feeling it out a bit. Miller against Waiters. To the inside. Here's Whiteside. It's held in by Diallo. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Okafor, the pass to Clark. There's the call on James Johnson. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Heat. Adebayo is checked in for Johnson. And it's Drogic in for Dwayne Wade. And a change for the Pelicans. Payton's checked in. Here is Miller. And he hits it to tie the game up. Miller's got his first basket. A terrific movement off of the dead ball situation and a great play to get the bucket. Richardson kicks to Dragic. Peters for three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Diallo's got rebound number five here tonight. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Let's take a moment to see the squads that have been the most dominant on the glass this season. The Heat in second. You know, it's not necessarily a glamour stat, but, but make no mistake, their top-notch board work has been a huge key to their success. Over to the left wing. Here's Krogic. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. And the Heat lead by two. Well, the D was present and put up a good fight, but ultimately Dragic with the KO. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. The guys, Hassan Whiteside continues to develop. Now, Miami coach Eric Spolster said it's got nothing to do with his stats. He's going to do that no matter what. It's about making winning plays and caring more about his teammates than he cares about himself. Now he can lead in a different way because he has the respect of the locker room. Kevin? Terrific, D.A., thank you. 
And Miami making a change here. Winslow's checked in. New Orleans also making some changes. Stanley Johnson comes in for Miller. And it's Drew Holiday in for Ian Clark. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Okafor kicks to Payton. Back to Okafor. Inside. Got a piece of it. Hard-nosed defender and Josh Richardson using a little bit of that length from the wing position to deny that one. No good from Fogic. And it's Justice Winslow with the foul. That's foul number two for him. And still early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Julius Randle's checked in for New Orleans. Holiday goes in to the left wing. Here's Okafor. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. And just a nice combination of, of size and feel there. Terrific finish down low. And good that time. A wonderful look from Dragic, who nicely set up one of his guys for a great look. Peyton against Dragic. Peyton dishes to Okafor. And Whiteside sends it back. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Whiteside. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Okafor. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Peyton. That one off the back iron and out. Miami leading by four. Oh, Whiteside in position. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. A nice job by Hassan Whiteside to get the ball in a good position on the court and finish that one. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. And that was one that just got out of control for them. And when the lead got big, it almost seemed as if they just mailed it in. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm even going to go that far because I think it's a case of two teams on very different levels. And once they got into that big deficit, there's no way they were getting back into it. Last season, Brent, the Pelicans took such a step forward as their role players really stepped up. Well, how huge was AD and all the things he's capable of doing? Just a, a once-in-a-generation talent. Guys like Holiday, Moore, those guys played so great down the stretch when they got some more freedom after the Cousins injury. The Pelicans have had some issues with depth in the past, but uh, they seem to have put that behind them last year. Now, here's Richardson. After the miss from Alfred Payton. No good from Frogic. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Randall, no good. Well, he leading by four. Richardson, no luck. <laughs> and that was almost one for the highlights. The long-distance alley-oop, just a fraction off the mark. Pretty early to be over the limit. That foul situation is something we want to keep an eye on. For New Orleans, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. That free throw, good from Randall. Who do you think is best at converting off his offhand? I, I really do like Mike Conley in Memphis when he gets to, and I love his timing on it, Kevin, that running right hand hook shot that he shoots from about eight feet and one of the reasons I'm so enamored with it is because Mike will shoot it in the fourth quarter with under 30 seconds to go on a critical possession that to me screams of confidence a tremendous offhand by Mike Conley. When it means the most he'll use that move. Yeah and, and I'm not saying that Kyrie Irving won't do it with his left in Boston but you know, Mike Conley pulls it out at some of the moments where you just say wow a right-handed runner with 40 seconds to go fourth quarter good on you Mike Conley. Oh and the D did not make that any easier can't fault the shooter for missing. That's a tough shot. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Here's Davis. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Whiteside. Well, he's gotten shots up, but they're not finding the rim. The squad's suffering because of it right now. A bit out of rhythm. Here's what Miami has lined up on their schedule. On Sunday... They'll be matching up against Rudy Gobert and the Utah Jazz. And then on Tuesday, 
They'll defend home court against the Orlando Magic. And for the matchup with the Suns, this is a game that they are expected to win. But sometimes those are the kind of games where you get a little bit sloppy and start looking ahead. Either way, they'll need to put in tremendous effort to walk away with the victory. And he sinks the second. And so it's New Orleans with it. Seven point differential. Peyton against Richardson. Here's Davis. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Ten points for Davis. The ball rotates over to AD and he simply rises up and makes that jump shot look so, so easy. Pass to Richardson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Amazing how much James Johnson gets leaned on for what Miami wants to do offensively. Out of Wake Forest, a very versatile 6'8 forward and plays a ton of positions for Eric Spolstra. knocks down the first one it just seems like James Johnson has some point forward in his game what do you think Brent I think that Eric Spolstra has just championed that part of his game and trusts him to make the right decisions and when your teammates have that kind of confidence in your playmaking ability sometimes the opportunities for you to make the right pass they grow he hits both from the strike as we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Loads it up for Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. Now cutting and carving the defense apart right now, get Peyton the passing lane, and he's going to find someone. And it's Dragic with the ball for Miami, leading by five. To the paint, it's stolen by Randall. Kicks it to Davis. Takes a three. New Orleans getting another chance here. That's tipped. And the six foot seven, 225 pound Winslow rises up and swats that shot away with great athleticism. You know, he didn't score the ball much in the first quarter, but he has been really, really solid during the second quarter. I expect a big game from him now. And here is Davis after the three-pointer from Goran Dragic. That's it, and the Miami lead is cut down now to just six and the basket from Peyton. Good show of confidence. Peyton looking good, trying his luck from the interior that time. Dragic finds Whiteside, and Davis sends it back, and he gets it back. Richardson, no luck. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. Yeah, I think coaches right here are always talking about the extra pass. And a contested three is not your objective. One more, maybe. No good from Trogic. Pelicans trail by six. Now Johnson. He averages a bit over six points a game to the inside. And Winslow pulls it down. It is so tough to make those kind of shots with the defense draped all over you. Pass to Autobio. Dragic kicks to Richardson. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Dragic has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Well for New Orleans shooting 40% since the beginning of the second quarter. Here's Holiday. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. Well, killing them softly there. Holiday with the floater over the top. And that puts the D in a tough spot. And the Heat call time here. Well, the Heat take great pride in what they try to do defensively. Their activity, their awareness, their alertness. You know, this team, as they grow, right now they're committing a ton of fouls. Well, that comes with the territory about learning some of these schemes and trying to be as physical as they like to be. A different look for Miami. Olenek is checked in for Whiteside. Johnson comes in for Bam Adebayo. 
And Dwayne Wade is subbed in for Goran Dragic. Each one more is checked in for the Pelicans. Now here's Winslow. 11 points for him in that last game against Atlanta. The defensive mindset tonight was huge. He was a real pest coming up with all those steals and had great activity. And you talk about the discipline for the Heat. Not a team that gambles a lot for steals. No, don't like to overextend. They like to stay at home and they like to stay in their pockets. They like to contest shots and then you can't finish off a defensive possession until you grab a rebound. So everybody gets involved in that. New Orleans making some changes here. Miller's checked in for Johnson. And Ian Clark subbed in for Drew Holiday. The Heat leading by nine. Wade with it. He has seven. The pass to Richardson. Winslow against Miller. Five on the clock. Floats one up. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got six rebounds here tonight. Stolen by Wade. Winslow, the pass to Johnson. And the lead now. Double digits on that bucket. Johnson's got five points so far. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been hard. Clark for three. And it's Miami with the rebound. Richardson gets a wide open look. And the Heat, another three. Well, nights like this for this basketball team on the offensive end to have Richardson step up, that takes a ton of pressure off the rest of the team. Now here's Davis. 20 points for him last game against Washington. Knocked away. Moore outside. Five on the clock. To halt the run. The offensive rebound. Davis. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And here we can check out the story on Julius Randle. Just an incredible month of basketball. He's right around 17 points a night, nine rebounds and four assists. And every team needs a good backup big to spell the starters. And, and that's what he brings to the table. The role consists of rebounding, setting screens, protecting the rim. Anything else he gives you is found change in the couch. And the first one at the line is good. And he needs to get back to what he was doing in that first quarter when he was in attack mode, drawing fouls and getting to the line. Okafor is checked in for Randall. And both free throws good for Davis. Well, when you play against the Pelicans, Brent, you know you're going to be running. Yep, track shoes on. Pelicans played at the highest pace last year in the league. And, and you can expect more of the same as long as Alvin Gentry is the coach. This is something he believes in, and he's got one of the best running centers in the league. The team generates a ton of easy looks and finishes because of the pace of play. And taken away by Johnson. Wade can't hit. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Here's Clark. Wade is covering. Clark kicks to Miller. It's off his leg. And the ref's saying he kicked it. A different look for Miami. Dion Waiters comes in for Winslow. And Roddy Magruder's subbed in for Richardson. And a change for the Pelicans. Diallo, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Fifty-two seconds left to play in the first half. Moore against Wade. Lock at six. Here's Clark. That one's not going to go. Excellent D there from Waiters. Wade dishes to Waiters. Good D by Miller. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. The feed to Moore. To the middle. Here's the elbow. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Here's Magruder. 
Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Here's Wade. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Wade's got nine. You can't fault the D there. They all did their jobs, but a superstar talent knows what to do and gets it done. And so that's the end of the first half. Heat lead by 12. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Alvin Gentry. Coach, they had control in the first half. How were they able to do that? Well, we turned the ball over, and our transition defense wasn't very good. Uh, we got to do a better job of executing, and we got to do a better job of just taking the shots that are available to us. One thing at a time gets you back in. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, Hoop fans. NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. EJ, Shaq, Jet. It was a closely contested first quarter for Miami. They never trailed by more than three points, and it was neck and neck the entire period. They dialed up the pressure quite a bit in the second quarter at both ends, and it worked out well for them as their lead grew all the way to 12 points at the break. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Heat first half. I like their commitment to that inside game, boy. Get it inside to the post. Got to be scoring in the post, splashing to the basket. Just shoot the high percentage shot. No jumpers, no threes. They're being a more aggressive team, the more physical team. They're definitely going to win this game, Ernie. And uh, Kenny, what would you see from New Orleans? Well, they shot under 40% in the first half. There's your deficit. They missed some open looks, wide open. But overall, I thought the offense was stagnant. Look for their coach to draw up some specific plays to try to jumpstart them in the second half. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? A great look at American Airlines Arena right on the shores of Biscayne Bay as we welcome you back to Miami. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, Davis has been exceptional here, guys. Yeah, the rebounding, particularly on the offensive side, as good as it gets, he was bringing the effort down low. Yeah, those extra possessions, considering how hard it can be sometimes to find offense, become invaluable. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And it's Dragic with the ball for the Heat. On the floor for Alvin Gentry as we get into the second half. Peyton and Holiday are together in the backcourt. Down low, it's Randall and Davis. And it's Johnson in at the three. Richardson finds Dragic. Out to the right wing. Right side, no good. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against it. Just another example of what makes Anthony Davis such a great rebounder, size and athleticism, but you combine that with his anticipation, and he gets a lot of secondary opportunity. Now here's Winslow. Fader on the way. Gets it to go. That one good from Autobio. Autobio's got eight points. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Dayton surveying the floor. Richardson against Holland. It's deflected, and he recovers it. Just five on the clock. Knocks it loose. Here's Peyton. Well, if they had an edge at halftime, they might have lost it beginning this half. One of five. Near the three-point line, it's Dragic. No good off the front iron. Pelicans trail by 12. Johnson outside. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It goes on Justice Winslow.
And the first one at the line is good. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Alvin Gentry, one of the best offensive minds and coaches in this league. Remember, just in the recent past about his time in Phoenix and then in Golden State, now as the head coach of the Pelicans, and he's done a, a great job just speeding up this team, pushing the ball, and trying to find ways to put up points. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Now, here's Dragic. Seven points in the game. Richardson the pass to Whiteside. Over Davis. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. That's 12 points for House on Whiteside. And for the Pelicans, it took some time before they could implement Gentry's vision. Well, now it's in place. It felt like a long time to get there, and he ended up making the playoffs and pushing it to the second round. And Alvin Gentry is a big reason why the Pelicans are one of the most exciting teams right now to watch in the NBA. And each bucket at this point feels like a backbreaker. Well, to win at this level consistently, you cannot be faint of heart. And he's going in for the kill. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And one thing they'll discuss are their defensive rotations. Uh, the other is in the matchups. We're seeing very little help defense on the inside. And even when there is help, it's been ineffective. Let's check out the NBA's best three-point threats. Fifth on the list, Anthony Davis. What a percentage that is for him from three-point range this season. His deep touch is about as good as you're going to see. Here's Davis. He's got 18. Rando kicks to Payton. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Pass to Davis, and stolen by Whiteside. And it's in there. Davis has got six here in this quarter. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks from inside. Johnson against Winslow. He had stolen by Randall. And New Orleans pushing it up now. And it's slammed in by Davis. Enjoy that unselfish play from Holiday for that swing pass to the open teammate. And that Unleashed Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Now here's Dragic. Seven points in the game. In the corner, it's Whiteside. Lock at six. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Heat lead by ten. Yeah, he's a heady player. He knows how to get himself going and giving his team a real advantage right now on the offensive end. Peyton outside. He kicks it to Holiday. Inside, here's Davis. Trying to get open is Randall. That's good from Davis on the assist by Holiday. Davis has got 24 points. The Heat leading by eight. Rockets the pass to Autobahn. Here's Richardson. Here's Whiteside. Lays it up off the glass. Whiteside's got 16 points. And so Peyton will bring it up for New Orleans. Passes it to Holiday. Back to Peyton. Shoots over Dragic, and it falls over the rim and in. Peyton's got his second basket of the game. That's just smart right there from Alfred. Terrific at taking the screen and then use up whatever available space you have. Now here's Dragic. Seven points in the game. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. To the inside. Heat. Basket is good. The assist from Johnson. Six points for Alfred Payton. 
Important points there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. And it's Dragic off the drive to the middle. Here's Whiteside. And another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. Like to see when Whiteside has the size and improved touch that he's got to take advantage of his defender. And right now doing it offensively. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Goran Dragic started his career in Phoenix under the mentorship of Steve Nash. Well, he still loves to push the pace and still loves to attack the paint. We'll see if he can be an effective player in his late 30s the way that Steve Nash led his teams. Dwayne Wade's checked in for Josh Richardson, and it's Dragic with the foul. That's his first foul. Peyton against Dragic. Peyton finds Davis. Five to shoot. Now here is Holiday. Shoots over Dragic. And with that, the Heat lead is cut down to just six points and the bucket from Holiday. For Miami, they've gone six of ten from the field in the third quarter. Peyton against Dragic. To the paint. Here's Whiteside. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Davis has got double digit rebounds now in the game. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds given what the scoreboard says. Well, nice work from Drew Holiday to get close, but it was his length that allowed him to get that shot over the deep. To the inside, taken away by Holiday. And New Orleans pushing it up now. And then Randall slams it in. Oh, he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Now here's Dragic. He has seven. Here's Adebayo. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Julius Randle picks one up. And Bam Adebayo, the 14th overall pick in 2017 out of Kentucky. Yeah, his name seems to be pretty fitting, right? Like setting screen. Bam. Getting a dunk. Bam. Tremendous athlete. And he can throw it down with some of the best power forwards in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Okafor is checked in for Anthony Davis. Sheck Diallo comes in for Julius Randle. Darius Miller, he's checked in for Stanley Johnson. And it's Etwan Moore checking in for Peyton. And so he makes both from the line. And here's Holiday. He's got 11. Moore outside. This one for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Moore's got five now. Uh, Moore is a quality three-point shooter, so you've got to D him up, especially when he's behind the arc. When we talk so much about accurate shooting, sometimes accurate passing can lead to great shooting. You saw it there. The Heat have gone seven of nine from the free-throw line tonight. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. One shot, gentlemen. Pelicans trail by four. Now Holiday, his numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Pass to Miller. Here's Diallo, covered by Winslow. Diallo, no good. Miami leading by four. 
And he's going up for the alley-oop. And Dragic has it in the corner. They shoot again. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, the bio says seven feet and 265. Whiteside usually finds a way to get the shot to go despite being hit thanks to those numbers. Incredible strength. And what a story for Hassan Whiteside. A second-round pick back in 2011. He, he's bounced around. I mean, the G League, China. He, he even played over in Lebanon. It wasn't until 2015 that What's he emerged that? seemingly out of nowhere as a factor for the Miami Heat. On the free throw, no good. And Whiteside in 2016 receiving a four-year max contract rate from the Heat. Uh, amazing how far he's come. Set the franchise record for most blocks in a game. And, and pretty impressive when you think of the big men who've played for the Heat. We're talking Lonzo Mourning and Shaquille O'Neal, no less. And it's Miller in the corner. And the Pelicans miss again. Miami leading by eight. The pass to Autobio. A nice shot by Winslow. Winslow's got four points in the quarter. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Kelly Olenek checked in for Whiteside. Johnson comes in for Bam Adebayo. Waiters, he's checked in for Winslow. And Roddy Magruder's subbed in for Goran Dragic. Wade against Holiday. Wade passes to Olenek. To the paint. The basket good off the assist from Wade. Wade's got three assists in the game. And the Pelicans with possession here. Trailing by 10. It's off to Charlotte for them after this game as they take on the Hornets. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Moore against Olenek. And Moore kicks to Okafer. It's stolen by Wade. Here's Magruder. And the basket is good. And now it's a 12-point Miami lead. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And so Holiday will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Pass to Moore. Feeds it to Okafor. Out to Miller. Plenty of space. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Miller's got his second basket. Good decision to kick the ball out as the defense collapsed. Wade with it. He's got nine. Passes it to Johnson. To the middle. Here's Waiters. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And Deion Waiters, midway through last season, finally had season-ending surgery on his left ankle. He had been trying to manage that injury since the season prior. Yeah, and ended up losing out on a bonus of over a million, which was contingent on him playing 70 games. His play had fallen off, though, so quite possible he What's needed up? that surgery even before he suffered the setback. Free throw, no good for Waiters. Well, we know about him being the fourth overall pick in the draft, and Waiters still trying to find a role on this team. Johnson with the block. Wade outside. Kicks it to Waiters. 
Olenek against Okafor. Shot clock at five. Here's Waiters. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Wade's got assist number five here tonight. 106 left in the third quarter of the game. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Back to Moore. It's Miller on the wing. And Holiday has it in the corner. Pelicans keep it alive. He dishes it to Okafor. And now it's Waiters running. He can go all the way. That shot is off. Now New Orleans will take it the other way. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That's foul number two for him. Richardson, he's checked in for Rodney Magruder. Johnson, he's checked in for New Orleans. 20 seconds left to play in the third. Raiders against Holiday. And that one drops. Holiday's got eight here in the quarter. That's a great drive from Drew Holiday using that blazing speed to his advantage. Now here's Waiters near the three-point line. It's Wade. Drops one in from the wing. Wade's got the lead up to 14 now for the Heat. And so it's the Miami Heat sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Pelicans trail by 14. Josh Richardson out there with Dwayne Wade. Then it's Kelly Olynyk. Then it's James Johnson. And it's Waiters in at the three slot. That's the group on the floor for Miami. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And head coach Eric Spolster always looking for different perspectives, looking to tweak and change certain things and constantly learning. That's a growth mindset. We hear him talk about that a lot and it's something that he encourages not only his staff to do but his players as well and he's good on the second and Spolstra assigns assistance to read books attend clinics and bring back reports always looking for new insights yep lots of paperwork on that Miami Heat coaching staff they keep daily notes on on everything from basketball uh, to the big picture around the team. Stats, quotes, questions, all inspirational stuff. So anything they can draw a competitive advantage on or keep things positive, suppose looking to do that. Here's more. Wade with the puck. Dwayne Wade, the best shot blocking two guard this game has ever seen. Add another one to the total. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Now, here's Richardson. Lays it up and banks it in. And that's 13 points for Wade. And, and when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, my man is going for the jugular. Here's Johnson. Moore outside. Pass to Holiday. From beyond the arc... They get the rebound. Diallo. Johnson with the block. They get a hand on it. Olenek with the steal. To the inside. Miami again turning it over. 
And, and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. New Orleans making some changes here. Davis has checked in for Okafor. Julius Randle comes in for Diallo. And it's Peyton in for Drew Holiday. Peyton outside. He feeds it to Randle. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. A moment to check out who the New Orleans Pelicans have coming up. They're off to Charlotte to face off with the Hornets. Then on Monday, he'll be playing against Lou Williams and the Los Angeles Clippers. And for the matchup with the Grizzlies, you know they want to come out and make a big statement in that one. It won't be easy, but anything can happen. First free throw is good. He makes one of two that time. Dion Waiters, Brent, with the game that evokes a lot of different opinions. Well, count the Miami Heat in that group. They, they've seen the potential. They rewarded him for that potential. Now we just got to see him on the floor on a consistent basis. He's off on the first. Wade is a very consistent performer from the foul line. This is why you always avoid fouling him if you can. And he's good on the second. And Dwayne Wade had hoped to return to the Miami Heat. Last season at the trade deadline, he got his wish. And it just seems right when he's in a Miami Heat uniform. It's a second home for him, and he's back where he belongs, baby. Wade counts. Randall with the bucket. Yeah, the big man, the brow, finding a teammate and does a great job of seeing somebody that's uncovered. Wade against Peyton. Wade finds a limit. Miami no good on that time either. He's been a little bit disappointing in this game. However, his team has his back. They need a little bit more help from him. That's good, and the Heat lead is cut down to nine in the bucket for more. You, know, you got to get out there. You got to run and scramble the Jets to find each one more on the perimeter. Wade against Peyton. Waiters outside. He kicks it to Olenek. Six to shoot. The 19 foot shot. And that one hits back iron. There's the call on James Johnson. And that'll be his third foul so far. Did you ever think, Brent, that we'd see this many players, 6'10", 6'11", seven-footers, handling the ball and shooting like we're seeing them shoot from that kind of distance? I'm hopeful for it. I've been hopeful for it. And it doesn't surprise me about what the league is. This is a very select group of people that have the right combination of DNA and genetics. And the fact that these guys are more and more capable with their skill set not a surprise to me, Kevin. So fun to watch, too. My goodness. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Hassan Whiteside, a max player for the Miami Heat. But I've heard some analysts say, Brent, that uh, they question whether he's a Miami Heat type of player. Why is that? Well, the, the Heat are built around a pretty much maniacal work ethic. There's a lot of grinders. And you look at Whiteside as a draft prospect. He worked out for the Heat and actually walked out midway through a workout. Yet they stuck with him. They kept tabs on him. And they brought him in. And they've, they've paid him handsomely to be out there and be impactful. That's got to be on a nightly basis. Now here's Winslow. Richardson for three. Well, Moore is not giving any room on the defensive end to the guy he's guarding. Johnson, wide open. He fires. And some very quick points for him on that possession. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Here's Richardson. Right through the D for the layup. Well, Richardson came in shooting threes and thought that might be the only thing he could do. He's no one-trick pony. Peyton kicks to Randall. Here's Johnson. Miami grabs the miss. 
Winslow's got four rebounds now tonight. Well, his struggles are consuming the rest of the team here tonight. He's got to find his rhythm and find it fast. Trogic gets the bucket. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? Baden outside. Down low. Here's Randall. The shot, no good. Rockets with some nice D. The Heat leading by 13. Inside. Adebayo passes to Dragic. Kicks to Winslow. And there's the pass to Adebayo. And he makes good on the way. Up by a bunch. He's still pushing the action, trying to impose his will. Well, collectively, they've done it tonight here. A passionate performance from the squad. Now here's Johnson. Back to Peyton. Pass to Davis. To end the run. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got five assists in the game. And since halftime, he has been a different player. And it's Dragic with the ball for Miami. At the elbow, it's Whiteside. In the corner, it's Richardson. Over more. And the Heat get another bucket right there. Richardson knocking down the shot. He's got good shooting form. Pelicans trail by 15. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's more. Passes it to Johnson. Right side against Davis. Over white side. And Davis puts it in. Davis has got 28 points for the game. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Richardson finds Whiteside. Hoggage against Payton. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's his third foul of the game. More against Richardson. Here's Autobio. Again, the Heat, good for two. And at his height, you have to like what he gives you as a shooter. Well, when he squares up from the medium range, there's little things you could do to stop him. Now here's Peyton. Johnson outside. Poked loose. Back to Peyton. Shot clock at six. To the paint. Here's Davis. Good work defensively by Whiteside. The Heat leading by 15. Richardson kicks to Dragic. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Can we say Dragic has deceptive strength? Showed a little bit off right there getting to the basket. And Goran Dragic, a slippery lefty out of Slovenia. At his peak. A phenomenal offensive player. He doesn't hit that peak every season, though. And now in his 30s, we'll see how long he can extend his prime. One shot, gentlemen. Free throw drive for Goran Dragic. Well, when it comes to free throws, Dragic is just money from the line. Pelicans trail by 18. And it's Dragic with the foul. That's foul number two for him. And the next one puts him in the bonus. On defense, the Heat. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Here's Dragic. It's Richardson on the wing. This is the white side. Pass to Dragic. Just five on the clock. Miami needs to get a shot off. White side, no good. Pelicans trail by 16. To the middle. Here's Johnson. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Coaching staff high-fiving themselves there, watching that team move the ball around, doing whatever is best for the team. 
Dragic against Peyton. Oh, right side in position. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And Davis gets it to go on the assist from Randall. Randall's got six assists in the game. Now a timeout called by Miami. Yeah, it's a good time to talk things over. Try to stop what's been a brutal run. Yeah, he's got to use every device at his disposal at this point. And I, I think he wants to give other guys a breather right now. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Hassan Whiteside. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hand. Without his heroics here tonight, this could have been a second straight loss for them. But he was sensation, and instead of a losing streak, he may have them headed in the opposite direction now. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Eric Spolster coaching the team during the break. He still wants them to be aggressive and assertive on offense. He said, I don't want us to get content with this lead. Build on it. Don't give them any chance of getting back in this thing. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Rogic against Peyton. Down low, trying to find Davis. He's got it now. An emphatic LU jam. And when you thought this fourth quarter was simply a formality, all of a sudden the offense picks up, and now we have a game. Now here's Richardson. Winslow dishes to Dragic. Again, the miss by the Heat. And here's New Orleans now. Good momentum, eight straight points. I don't know if you push the panic button now, but that's the fourth personal. And he needs to stay aggressive out there. So it's going to be interesting to see how he plays moving forward. He, he's got to get to the line a little bit more here in the second half. Let's see if he can get that edge back that he had in the first. Miami leading by nine. It's Richardson on the wing. Back to Dragic. Just five on the clock. The feed to Richardson. Over Holiday. Richardson, good. Richardson's got 20 points. No, right now he is locked in. He's getting great shots, and he's burning the D in a variety of ways. And it's blocked by Whiteside. As soon as Whiteside positions himself, he just spikes that one away. It's like he's playing beach volleyball. Davis, the pass to Peyton. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. First one falls for him. Well, we've seen indications of Peyton and his all-around game, but we just would want to see the evolution of the shot come along, just more consistent from the outside. That's the next step. And both free throws good for Peyton. Here's Dragic. Side, stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. A clear look for Johnson. Randall kicks to Johnson. And the shot is long. Miami leading by nine. Right side, Dragic. It's right side, top of the key. Back to Dragic. And chance shot. Right side, good. 23 points in the game. You have to do a lot of things defensively to prevent Hassan Whiteside from scoring. He is just an Adonis out there. Look at that body and still gets those shots to go like he did there. And he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. And the pass to Dragic. One eleven left in the fourth. Back to Whiteside. Just five to shoot. And it's out of bio in the corner. There's Winslow. No good on the triple. 
And here's Holiday who will bring it up for New Orleans. 11 point game. Trying to get open is Davis. And Peyton gets it to go on the assist by Holiday. That play happens because of the solid pass from Holiday. Miami's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. And the shot goes in. And the Heat lead by 11. And you can tell they're ready to start celebrating a, a well-deserved victory here tonight. Yeah, you can see the fans. They've already started celebrating themselves. A gutty performance. Oh, offensive interference. And a new group in for the Heat. James Johnson's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Dion Waiters comes in for Winslow. Wade, he's checked in for Josh Richardson. And Roddy Magruder's subbed in for Goran Dragic. And Waiters kicks to Wade. Got a piece of it. Moore with the steal. And unfortunately, it's time for them to say night-night. Well, you'd like to have a rewind button and get a couple plays back, but impossible at this point. Need better execution at times. Waiters right side. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. And I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Well, Dwayne, you won the game, but you lost the rebounding battle. How did you overcome that? Uh, I don't know. You know, we have a knack for finding a way to win, and um, we've always had that here. You know, we got to do a better job. Um, you know, we can't get out rebound like that and expect to win, so uh, we got to figure it out. We'll be working on it. Thanks, Wayne. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. See you later.